In this video, I want to talk a little bit about the file list because the file list is one of the central components of Settler. And so it's crucial for you to understand what it's supposed to do and how to uh, work with it to maximize your experience with Settler. The basic idea behind the file list is that you don't have to switch back and forth between your writing application and your file browser in order to switch files, but have everything within one application. So without further ado, let's start. Here you can see the state of the uh, application directly after you've installed it. So on the first start, what Settler will do is copy a small folder into your documents that contains this interactive tutorial. If you haven't done so, make sure to follow this uh, in order to learn the first things about Settler. So, but obviously, as soon as you start working with the uh, application, you don't want to have this uh, tutorial folder left hanging in, in there, at least not forever. So in order to see what is happening here, let's first switch to the file tree. To do so, we click this uh, small uh, button up here, and then you can see this is the only currently loaded directory. You can imagine these directories somehow like workspaces, so all your work should happen within one or multiple of these directories. You can perform two actions on such a root directory. First, you can delete it, which means unload it from the app and also put it into the trash bin. Remember that Settler will never try to di directly and immediately delete stuff, but also always attempts to put them into your trash bin. So in, or in case you accidentally delete something, you can simply restore it. With uh, these uh, root directories, as we call them, these workspaces, you can also close them. Closing means you unload them from the app but they remain in place. So let's just close this directory. As you can see, the directory is gone, no open fold of, uh, files or folders, but if we head back to our documents, we can see the folder is still here. So let's just open it again, because uh, you're always supposed to has, have at least one directory open, so we can just click on this empty pane here to open up the selection dialog and from here we can simply select it click open and we have the directory back loaded into the app but of course you are not restricted to simply one single directory because there are some methods to organize your files that require several document folders for instance you might want to have separate folders for work for university for your private stuff whatever you like to open different directories simply click again on open and then let's choose one different folder. And now we have two folders open. Of course, sometimes you also want to have one single markdown file um, because the surrounding directories contain a lot of other files that you couldn't add it either way with Settler. In this case, the only thing you need to do is to uh, go and choose one of these files and select open with Settler. Of course, if Settler is your default Markdown application, you can simply just double click them. And as you can see, it has been loaded as a so-called root file. Uh, just as with root directories, root files can also be closed so that they remain in place or removed so that they are being pushed into the recycle bin. But it still doesn't really look like a file tree. So just to show you how it works, let's create some subdirectory for this. And here you can actually now see that it's a file tree that you can collapse and expand as you like. And you may have seen that there are actually two panes visible. One is the file tree where all your, um, one is the directory tree where all your open directories and the root files in case you have some um, are displayed. And the other one is, uh, is the file list where all your files within one of these directories are displayed as a long list. Depending on your preferences, you might want to uh, view both at the same time. You can actually do this in the preferences by choosing in the general tab, the sidebar mode expanded. Expanded is the same as thin with the uh, one difference that both panes will be shown at the same time and you don't have to switch back and forth. It gives you a lot more info, but sometimes uh, this might be faster for you to work with. And in case you still want to have uh, everything but only in one list, then you can choose the combined sidebar mode, which basically interleaves your files and folders within one single list to work with.
Apart from these actions, you can basically do everything that you can do in your file browser. So moving files around, copying, renaming them, duplicating them, creating new directories, removing directories, moving directories around. Everything uh, you can imagine can also be performed within the application. This concludes today's video. To learn more about the file list and how to make the most of it, make sure to read our documentation, which explains everything that I try to explain to you today in much more detail. The only thing to remember is always have at least one root directory open because this is what Settler has been designed for. So in order to use it to the maximum, make sure to always work in one of these root directories, aka workspaces. If you like this video, make sure to subscribe to our channel and also hit the notification bell in order to stay updated whenever we upload new videos to this series. Have a great day and see you soon.